Konstantin from Novosibirsk says, nevertheless, how to hold on during the exodus of Egypt and not to run away because the rejection keeps growing more and more, the rejection from the ten. How do I hold on? First of all, to hold on to the group, to our group, to hold on to me, most important is not to detach from lessons. I never, uh, it never happened that I didn't come to the Rabash's lessons. I don't know, maybe it happened here when I was sick or uh, if I'm, uh, I have to be on a, on a flight or something. Very few times, maybe. So, I, I can't imagine how the, this happens. And excuse me, but you don't understand. I hope that at some point you will understand what it means to wake up for a Kabbalist. Uh, as we learn about the students of Rabbi Shimon. It's not that simple. It's not that the Kabbalist is in some nirvana and it's like those who sit somewhere in the Himalayas or India. They feel a lot better. So, because they decrease their will to receive. And that's it. There, that's it. Now they're so-called spiritual. But here, when we're always building ourselves by two forces of nature, it's always difficult. There's no choice. Always to prepare for oneself. Supporters. Supporters means everything that can help you get up and come to the group. Those who don't come to a physical group, then to turn on their computers and to chain yourself to the screen and listen to the lesson, watch the lesson each and every day. That's first. Now, what else? Write. Write. I, first of all, I used to uh, uh, to record what Rabash would uh, would say, and besides that, I had notebooks. I can I can show you uh, at some point. Um, I had thick notebooks where I would just write. He says something, and I'm writing. But it's being recorded in a tape recorder. I didn't care. This is the tape recorder, and this is me. And by writing, I would remember better and and listen better, and then I could ask questions and so forth. Meaning, what's being said in the lesson. Write, write it, and have some sort of a, some sort of a, of a um, note taking of it, you know, like a student does in a lecture. You know, how do you call it in Hebrew? A synopsis, maybe. Uh, well, summary is a summary. It's what if I write, but what if I write while he's saying? Conspect. Cons- conspect. Uh, not concept. Conspect the is the word. Anyway, search, look it up. And find the right one, the right word in Hebrew. Anyway, uh, all sorts of things, the friends that will help you in the morning and the evening, and also to write in general. Try to write a, a book or a tweet or a Facebook post or something like that. It's very helpful. Summarize some part of the lesson and put it somewhere. Engage in bestowal, in dissemination. That is most productive for development, for growing in spirituality. 